Check one, two, one, two. What's up, everybody? DJ Divine Justice here, a.k.a. DJ Fancy Pen. Want to talk about the Loopy Pro app and a dope video that I saw by this guy, Galen Drew. Uh, here's a version of his sampler, and I'll show what I kind of took from from him and what I what I kind of made. So the idea is that you have um, a section here that works the same as these samplers. So it's just looks like that in that it's long and it's not circular, it's just a rectangle. That's where the samples come in. Uh, I can control pitch up and down of the playback of the samples, volume up and down, get info on the samples and be able to change some parameters and then also clear it once I'm done and I wanna add something else in. Um, all of these are eight samplers that have all been pre-made to the length of two bars, just because that's easier when I'm putting things together. And then this is a split of pads that all will trigger whatever sample has been put into this area. So when you record in, there's a threshold where it is waiting to see whether or not the sound input source will go above it. Once it goes in, it starts recording, and then when you're done, it will automatically detect where the transients are and then give you the option to play them. So you see here's the first one, here's the second one's a snare. And since it's only eight or so, then the rest of these pads are not being used to be able to, to do the threshold. And I've also just remapped them to a wireless uh, MIDI controller down here. So the cool thing is that if you already have a loop going and you want to add something to it, you can do individual sounds, like if you just wanted to double up on a snare. Let me take that out. And here's the one, two, three, four you see going. And I left the snare out. Now the way this is working is that you'll see color coded, this is purple being sent to this channel, but I have the volume all the way down, but the send is all the way up and the send is set to, stop this, the send is set to, I don't know if you want me to show you, before the fader, pre-fader. So that means that this is not affecting it. It would just be louder and unnecessary if we were to hear that don't need to hear it because it's being sent to this bus. So bus A is being sent to this orange channel over here. So when these are actually playing, you can see it's those two that are being sent from the orange, which is what this is, into this channel. That way you don't have a double up of sounds by having um, too many coming through the same one. Once I tried to do it coming through this purple one and I was getting, once I tried to use a different one of these, loopers I would get whatever was playing back in the background so I was getting too much of a feedback <coughs> to first get these sounds into the one shop sample area once I have something that I like I can clear this out and you can see I got some um, Just drums coming through on channel four. So you can see the input and that gets sent everywhere, including to that color. And if I go into the settings, you can see there's a threshold, an audio threshold recording. So it knows to wait until it gets above there. 
So then I can jump between a different couple of different kits over here on the NPC. And then you'll see what happens once I start to play this. It says waiting for threshold. Switch the drum kit. Switch the drum kit again. And stop it. And then automatically on these pads, all these sounds ready to go. And pitch them. Pitch them all the way up. I had thought to put all of these on a diff eight different channels, but I mean, the fact is that you can just hit this button and then immediately be able to control the volume. Whoa. Careful. You can easily control the volume and the pan of each loop. So I just left it kind of like that. Now I can go back and stop that clip and just hear what's happening. see it's all in transient now you can also switch these uh, in case you're looping perfect loops and you want this to more chop in the same in the old-school kind of MPC way you can go into the settings and do dividing divide evenly and then it'll automatically chop and divide it up and then also you know you can have different numbers of pads it doesn't have to be 16 it can be 4 8 12, 16, or this looks like 32. 1, 2, 3, 4 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 4. I want back to 16. I'm just used to 16 because NPCs and stuff. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, with buses and stuff like that. So, just the fact that you can clear it out and then immediately get any more sounds. You don't even have to use them all up. That's only, uh, what was that, nine? too much fun I'm just keep on doing that so hopefully this has been a uh, interesting way for you to understand how you can pull any loops or any one-shot sounds into this sampler and then immediately have it looped to pads and then immediately have it recorded to loops mapped to pads and then recorded to loops um, and then you're able to mix those in with any uh, other <laughs> loop configuration you have um, I'm even going to work on another one that just, 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 you get a perfect loop in there and then it just divides it by the, um, by the count. And then even when you're launching the, um, these, you can have the quantize on from, what is this? 16th notes all the way up to a bar. And so that means that then like when you're, this is on 16th notes, 
Uh, let's get out of that. When it's playing. It can map it. So it can, um, what's the word I'm trying to use? Hold to play 16th notes, customize. So it should be. Should be kind of quantizing in a way. Um, I pretty much just leave the quantize off. Anyway, DJ Divine Justice signing off. Peace.